Mike Kavanaugh with HIVHero.org and Out Magazine, and I'm here with the incredibly talented principal dancer of ABT, Marcelo Gomez. How are you? Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for the introduction. <laughs> so, Marcelo, you started at such an early age and then joined ABT in 1997 and were, was promoted to principal in 2002. How did you do that so quickly? <laughs> A lot of work, I think. Uh, I started dancing in Brazil. Uh, when I was about five years old, so I was, you know, pretty young for a boy. I moved to Herod, um, moved to a school called the Herod Conservatory, <clears throat> who took me on a scholarship, uh, and I studied there for three years. Then that school took me to um, a competition called the Prix de Lausanne in Switzerland. And you won. I did. I got a, a scholarship to go to Paris Opera Ballet School, uh, which was uh, really wonderful. And then I came back and joined ABT um, in 97. And I kept on going back to the last line of the core and then kept getting soloist roles. And it was really a wonderful pace for that. Uh, and you know, Marcelo is always the handsome prince. So he's done every prince role, Apollo role, you name it. Um, what is your favorite one to do? I think it's Albrecht and Giselle. Um, if I had to pick one to do for the rest of my life. Um, it's a wonderful thing to dance and act at the same time. For me, it's um, my passion. Yeah, I think that's what's been said about you, is that it's not only your technique, but your acting ability that makes it really special. And I've seen that. So please go see him again in, at ABT. Fall season is coming up. Um, and we want to announce that right now that Marcelo Gomez is going to receive the second Broadway and Ballet Award. Actually, it's the Ballet Hero Award. How excited are you? I'm very excited um, because, um, you know, Dance Responding to AIDS and, and, and Fire Island Dance Festival and Broadway Hero and um, Broadway uh, Bears and everything that is related to getting... Um, safety and health and of, of HIV and AIDS uh, I want to be fully invested in um, because I had I lost an uncle uh, to the disease um, back in 92 um, and he was a really huge advocate of my my dancing and my and my um, pursuing the art that I so much love so it's uh, very personal to me and it's um, uh, an award and a um, celebration that I will definitely uh, remember forever. You know what, why we picked you is, you know, not only because you're incredibly handsome, incredibly gifted, and just wonderful person all together, but it's all the work you do for charity, and that, that's the one thing that we look at the most. You do the Fire Island Dance Festival every year, it's amazing. Um, you do everything you can for Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS. And by the way, we are actually honoring Tom Viola at the same time that we're honoring you. For, so we're giving Broadway Cares, Equity Fights AIDS the Partner Hero Award. So that's kind of cool. That's wonderful. And I, and I really uh, encourage all the dancers to be um, as involved as they can to um, support and drop anything that they're doing, you know, um, in a second and and help these wonderful nonprofit organizations because that's how we're going to get conscious from people that are not involved to give money and to help them grow. We're very excited you're also besides getting the award you're going to be performing. Can you tell us about what you're going to do? Yes, I'll be doing uh, an excerpt from Sinatra Suite uh, from of Twyla Tharp, Sinatra Suite that's very well known by Mr. Barishnikov, who who premiered the role, and um, I'll be doing only the solo, um, and I'm very excited to show that. We can't wait. So remember, uh, Broadway and Ballet Hero Awards are on October 24th at Stage 48. Doors open at 7, and 8 o'clock is showtime. And you can get your tickets at www.hivhero.org. So Marcella, one of the things I think is wonderful about you as well is promoting new talent, and you do a scholarship program in your name. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, it's a wonderful idea that me and my school, um, the Herod Conservatory uh, Boarding School in Boca Raton, Florida, had to have a scholarship under my name, uh, which goes every year to a young, talented male um, dancer who wants to pursue their career and wants to go 
to Herod. Um, it's it's a full year paid, um, and you know I am a big advocate of passing on. I just really. I love working with dancers. I love being in the studio with them. Um, I started choreographing a little bit as well in the past couple of years. And um, there's no reason why I feel like I need to keep that all the information with me. So I would like them to, to have an opportunity as well, just like I did. What advice would you give to people trying to get into the ballet business? How did you reach your success? And what would you say to them to get a career in this wonderful, wonderful world of ballet? It is a wonderful world. Um, I think that passion is one of the biggest things um, and determination, obviously, commitment. Um, I think that looking for a good school, a good base um, is very important. Um, working with teachers or coaches that you actually trust and that are doing something for you um, in your dancing. They're helping you improve and you feel the difference in over the years. I think that's very important. Um, I never stop learning. I'm always in the studio learning um, how to do that step better, how to make Swan Lake better, or Giselle, or even ballets that we do every year. Um, I think that th those are key elements to having a happy, healthy, you know, dancing life. I think that you have to work hard, um, remember to laugh, obviously, um, since the humor is a big thing, but also work with people, surround yourself with people you trust, and um, that, that has worked for me. <laughs> so you've been choreographing, which is amazing, and that must give you a lot of joy. Is that something you want to do in the future a lot more? I do. Um, that gives me so much joy to be in the studio, and, and not just making the steps. Uh, it's also about choosing of the costumes and the lights and what's the overall atmosphere, what theater that's being presented on and um, kind of going into the brain of dancers and vice versa, um, knowing when to push them and knowing when to back off. I, it's a wonderful experience. I feel um, completely rejuvenated after I work with, with, after I choreograph on dancers. And I hope to keep going. Um, I, I, I enjoy it very, very much. That's great, and you got to work with Misty Copeland. You did a TV commercial, which is amazing. How was that? Did a couple things with Misty, actually, uh, which has been great. The commercial was one of the first ones, and then um, I choreographed a solo um, also on her called Paganini, and then another part of the called Tokare. Uh, I have worked with her on and off for the past couple of years, sort of turned into being kind of like my muse, but she is a lot of people's muses, so. <laughs> So I can't really claim that she's my only, that my only ballerina because I love working with all of them. So Marcelo, as you know, we're a site for newly diagnosed and people living with HIV. Do you have a message about the importance, especially to young people, about being safe out there? I think that, you know, um, no information is bad information. I think you have to Try to become aware of everything and everything you everything you do know and everything you don't know. Um, read about it. Ask your doctor um, what are the ways and what are what 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 should I not do and what should I do. Um, I think that being safe is key. Um, and like you said, com condoms are hot, and uh, it's something that um, should be taken very seriously. And um, if you are um, being safe, how do you keep that going? And if you are positive, how are you protecting yourself and others? So Marcelo, our slogan is condoms are hot. Do you think condoms are hot? Condoms are so hot. <laughs> you pull them out of the box and you peel the plastic away. Oh my God, it's so sexy. It's like food. He loves his food. Please wear condoms because it's still, your, still a great tool. But remember, prep is out there. Everyone should be on prep, especially if you're doing any kind of risky behavior. And it's not forever. So you can find someone, be in a relationship, get tested together. But remember, it, there's still 5,000 people in America dying every year of complications related to HIV. So be safe out there.
Marcelo, thank you so much for being our ballet hero for this month and receiving the Ballet Hero Award at Broadway and Ballet Hero Awards, October 24th at Stage 48. Please come. Uh, I love everything you do. You're such a generous man, both in your talents and sharing them with us and all the charity work you do around the world. It's really amazing. And thank you so much for being who you are. It's really stunning. Thanks, Michael. I really appreciate it. And I want to thank you and Stephen Hanna for, you know, nominating me um, for this really, this really uh, prestigious award that I will really um, be very honored to get and have it in my hands. Um, it's also for my uncle, I, I believe. And so that, that means a lot to me and my family. Thank you. So, Marcelo, what is one thing few people know about you? I am extremely afraid of balloons. Yes, I have a balloon phobia. Well, are you afraid they're going to kill you? <laughs> no, but they will pop. The popping. Yeah, and they will scare you. Hi, I'm Marcelo Gomez, principal dancer with American Ballet Theater, and I'm so happy to be getting the Ballet Hero Award this year. And I would like to invite you to come to see ABT's fall season at the Koch Theater. Please visit our website, www.abt.org. And remember, condoms are hot.